is up guys welcome back to another episode of bnb fishing today we're going to be doing a little mystery tackle box pro unboxing here guys i uh, got this ship down this month of the month of july uh, my first pro box i've ever got so we're going to be unboxing this for you today guys um as you can tell it's a little different out here uh we're outside well, in front of a tent and a pond i'm looking at right now but uh, we're going to get this unboxed, and then we're probably going to try to catch some fish on it. Maybe do a little MTB slam. Um, some of the lures in here I'm iffy about, so it might take a few days with this little bitty pond. Because once you catch like two fish in this pond, they're all scared, and you got to wait a few hours. So it might take a few days, or two days. So uh, here's the box right here, guys. It is a black mystery tackle box. Um, most of you already know. Happiness in a box, it says on the side. Uh, you can't really read that one, they don't have anything on it. And right here it says Mystery Tackle Box on it. Um, MysteryTackleBox.com, go check them out. Also, all the lures that are found inside this box, um, you can go get at Mr. I mean, uh, ShopCarls.com. You can go check them out. They got every lure you'll need there. Um, actually, I kind of just get all my lures from there. I don't even really Every now and then I'll get some lures from Walmart or Academy or Dick's, something like that. But most of my lures I order off shopcarls.com. So just the front of the box, you got a straight shank hook, a popper, some split shots, a grub, a beetle, um, spitter bait, crank bait, all that on the front. And then of course their logo established in 2012. So this is the box you're gonna look like. It's gonna look like when you get it. And as soon as you open it up, it's gonna look like this inside. It's gonna be filled with lures. So if you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, it's basically a box that comes to your um, doorstep every month and it's filled with a bunch of different lures and um, it's basically like fish mist every month. Um, you get a bunch of new lures and you get to try a bunch of different out other lures. So this is basically what it is. So let's dig right in this box and go over what all is in there. All right, so as soon as we open it up, um, you're gonna have these fold up things and it's gonna fold out like this. So whenever you catch a fish, um, you can measure it. And it's called catch and win. So basically what you do is you catch a fish using one of the baits in the box, you measure it, um, you see if you have a keeper, and then you share it on Instagram and hashtag it MTB Keeper. So um, also it says right here, shopcarls.com. You can get rods, reels, swag, line, tackle, and more. And you can um, share to win prizes at mysterytacklebox.com slash keeper and go check out their YouTube channel and their Facebook. So basically six inches panfish, 12 trout, 14 bass, 16 walleye, and 18 is everything else that you can catch. So first thing you're gonna grab at your box, sorry for the background noises, the kids are, uh, ain't got no stuff on my face. The kids are riding the golf cart. So basically what the first thing you're gonna see is, is this what's inside card. And basically it's gonna show you what, the, what do you have inside your box and what the prices are of everything in the box. So first thing, the most expensive thing we got in here is the Guggen Squad Filthy Frog. It's $8.99, $9. And the cheapest thing is the Eagle, um, Eagle Claw Three-Way Swivel, and it's $1.99, $2. So then we got like 10 things in here. So let's check them out. The second thing you're gonna see in here is your Dibble. And this is tips and tricks from Carl. If you don't know Carl, Carl is, he's basically the founder somewhat of mystery tackle box so call him carl von dibble kvd there's a bug on here i think you might be able to see them on the golf cart go drive and um basically it's just tips and tricks how to use everything in this box we'll go over it maybe after so the first thing we got in here is um these slab daddy uh jigs <laughs> um it's in pink color it's at one eight ounce um says oh, i don't even know how to read that wow basically they're just little super finesse jigs uh hair jigs so those will probably work in here for some nice big bluegill because there's some slab daddy bluegill in here um it's a hook size two so perfect size hook there are some big or big bluegill in here it might even catch a little bass i don't even know um, there's also a lot of rock bass in here too, so these probably should work. The next thing we have is uh, these minic min minnows, um, kind of like a jig too. 
It's a multi-species bait. Uh, basically like a jig. Um, I know it'll catch some bluegill in here. Um, yeah. It'll catch uh, probably some little bluegill, maybe some rock bass. Looks like a pretty good bait to me. Next thing we have are fresh off the market. Um, they just came out with them, 10,000 fish. Just came out with these. Um, they're called the Yodo worms. And basically, these are like the most versatile baits you can have. Literally, it says right here on the back, you can put it on a spinner bait, you can put it on a um, chatter bait, Texas rig it, shaky head it, drop shot it, anything you want to rig, you can do with this right here. You can even put it on a frog hook and put two of these on there and you can work it like that. So uh, there has the irresistible tickle tail and we got these in 4.75 inch. So these probably will get munched by some big bass in here. There's also some uh, bowfin in here also. So we could catch those. Okay, where was I? Uh, best versatile bait. Yeah, next thing. The next thing we have is actually the Guggen Squad Filthy Frog. Right here, we have this in, I believe, blue ghost color. Ghost gill color. See, I don't even know the colors. They just look like a bluegill to me. This chair keeps on breaking. But we got the bluegill color Filthy Frog. Um, as you can see, they have a distinguishing feature to them. It says, eat me on the top. Um, very cool looking frog. You know what? Let's take this frog out of here and all right, let's get this froggy frog out of here. This probably will get much because there's a lot of grass in this pond. Oh man, it's got like the glitter and everything in it. I've never felt a frog like this. It's definitely a high quality frog. It's got the little butt hole. Squeeze your water out. And some sharp hooks. So here the filthy frog is. Um, a lot different than your average frog. Um, it's got the Guggen Squad logo and the eyeball. This should get munched walking it around this um, this grass. It should get munched. I have faith in this frog. With these Florida bass, you just can't, they can't resist the froggy frog. Especially the Guggen Squad frog. I mean, if they see eat me on the top, they're automatically gonna eat it, guys. You already know it. Stop hating. Next thing we have is Cinco Fishing uh, Crappy Bait. Cra crappy, crappy, whatever you want to call it. I call it crappy. Uh, these would pair up with these, with those jigs down there. Um, got a lot of panfish stuff, this box, but they are little, just little uh, trailers for your jigs. Um, these should work good too next thing we have oh i think these pair up with these they're the same company cinco fishing a uh, little spinner jig heads so i guess we'll pair those up with that um as you can see it's got a little spinner on it so it's like a spinner jig head so those should get munched next thing we have are these headbanger rocker heads i've never seen one of these so basically i guess it's just I guess it's just a little uh, jig head looking. Oh, I think it's a popping rig. Okay, cause it's got a little lip. So you hook your bait into that and it's kind of like popping. You can put a crawls, creatures, lizards, and all that on it. Um, yeah, it's already got a weight pre-made on it. It's got some five, uh, three eight ounce weights and some four out hooks. So I have never seen one of those. Uh, I could pair that up with the uh, Yodo worm. Maybe get munched on that. Good pair up. Next thing we have are these Eagle Claw three-way swivels. Um, don't really know why those are in there. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. Honestly, I've never used a three-way swivel. I don't even know what they are used for, but in a nice red color, should work for something that they're used for i do use eagle claw a lot next thing we got is a american flag fish sticker beautiful sticker you can stick this on your tackle box stick it on your friend's forehead stick it on your phone whatever you want to do with it 
That's all you gotta do. Peel this sucker off, made by Catchco, slap it on somebody, and they automatically are in love with it. Next thing we got is a Jinko Fishing Whirly Bird. Um, basically, uh, just a card telling you about the thing. Uh oh, what's up, Bubba? This is my little cousin, Luke. Um, this is my other little cousin, Joshua. Say hi. Hi. All right, what do y'all want? All right, take them out. So basically, all this. All right, take them out. Me and you are sleeping in there tomorrow, okay? Okay, we're gonna bring some different levels. All right. So basically, this is just a card telling you about how to use it and stuff. I found it. I found it. Okay. And then. This is a little uh, magazine about the yodel worm. Tells you where to fish it and stuff. It says fish it uh, matted grass cover, grass lines, uh, rip rap, tree stumps, around docks, under bridges, down trees, everywhere, basically. But that's all we got in the box, so yeah. I guess we are gonna try to catch a fish with this stuff. Maybe we can catch one, maybe we cannot. I think I'm going to start off with I'm going to tie on the frog and these little slab daddies right here. Yeah, frog and slab daddies should get munched. I will see you guys when we are rigged up.